Tim, so so for the model here, what have you done? What is it? You just basically get some hemostats and put some tape around it. So yeah, we don't want to accidentally cut our... Okay, all right. So you got a fully balloon. It's got like 10 ml saline, and it just simply won't, it won't deflate. It no. won't deflate? <laughs> all right, so what are you going to do? What are we going to do about this? So, so basically what you might then need is some scissors because if the valve is stuck then you got then a we problem. Could cut, we could cut just above that. Yeah, right. Okay. Good. Okay. Unable to aspirate after advancing we're going to go ahead and cut the line. Okay, okay. so we've now cut the line. All right, so now now it's, it, you've, cut, you've cut it off. All right. right. It's off. And now um, go ahead your, your artificial clamp. Let's just see if it see if it's going to drain this way. And it is. It's, it's draining. Yeah. So that would have been if the valve actually was was plugged. Then and there's our and our yeah, bulb so is deflating. Well, the bulb's deflating. Look at that. So okay, so here. the next step then would basically to be to take a guide wire. And I took this guide wire actually from a from a, a small valve feeding tube. So we're going to advance that guard wire. And it is it is a tight fit, but it is it is advancing. Yeah, in general, you're supposed to use central line guide wires. Right. Again, this came out of a feeding tube. It's kind of a woven wire, so it's a little bit thicker. But for our educational moment here, I think it it will work. Right. All right. And so at this point, we're at least three quarters of the way. Yeah. So so and, and we can so we'll make that. we'll make the assumption here then that hey. That that didn't drain. That didn't work either. So the other option then is to go ahead and overflate the balloon and see if you can pop the balloon. So um, we we filled up two more syringes of 10 ml. See see how much it would take to actually pop this. Okay. Yeah. Take that. Just pop that. Take that off and then get the other. Okay, Robert, you're going to have to go fill those, some more water out of the sink. So this is now 40, we're getting up to 40 ml. There we go. There we go. All right, so I want to see if there's fragments of any kind that flew off here. And where did you find this? On the ground. Okay, so so actually this, this then was the balloon part. And so that would be a fragment that... You know that came that actually came off here, and that's actually going to be that'd be a fragment that would be left in the bladder, and hopefully the patient should be able to pass that. But you just need to be aware of that. Hey Tim, Tim. Yes. So so what would be the what would be the last thing we could potentially so, do? So the last thing we wanted to discuss is that if you uh, did still um, have the ability to infuse some liquid in, you could try to infuse some mineral oil, and then that would take some time for the bulb to dissolve. And then always your, uh, you can have um, control if you have a urologist to come in and, and that they could um, intervene by maybe sending some kind of scope down and then they would be able to visualize pop popping it. Yeah. And then if all uh, else is gone, I guess maybe you would... Call the urologist and you could almost do like a super pubic super stick pubic of some kind stick to, to, uh, to using an ultrasound. That's another option. Yeah, that would that, be the last of it. Okay. All right. Thanks everybody for Thank your you. help.